and we are live now um uh gozar um you were um gone for part of the uh the battle and you uh you came back to uh meet your party after you were done handling your personal business uh only to find out that while you were gone allegedly there was some sort of dead man switch the party attacked the person with the switch and they, the party heard screams, and everyone in the party believes that their loved ones are dead. And the party believes that uh, your one-month pregnant wife is also dead. Um, the party has kind of left you, kind of where you fell to your knees. And the only people around you are Cedar and um, Maddie. Um, so Gozar would stand straight up and rush home. Uh, do you want Maddie and Cedar to come along, or do you go alone? Uh, he will go alone. All right, it's a many, many days journey, but as you're walking, by coincidence, going your way, uh, you see a, um, uh, and uh, a elderly elven man um, with a uh, shipment of tomatoes, and he uh, he looks pretty bored, and he happens to be going your direction. He goes, "Hello there, sad traveler. You need a ride. Your feet look weary." I'll just kind of look down, just go like, "Uh, what? Uh, oh, that's see where is." Villages, I forgot what his name was. I don't know. Um, yes, yes, fine, please, please, but we must hurry, please. Well, I'm sure you're in a rush for your own reasons. Personally, I'm just in a rush to get my tomatoes delivered before they spoil. Come along. I will come along. Um, as you um, uh, uh, hop on the uh, carriage, you can see that it is uh, uh, driven by uh, two very muscular uh, oxen. Uh, and he goes, so weary traveler, they, uh, I go by many na uh, names, but uh, most people around these parts just call me the driver. I always happen to uh, run into people in need. Tell me, it's going to be a bit of a journey. Do you have a story to tell or do you feel... Or do you, would you rather keep your secret? I, I, I'd rather not speak now. I, I must. We just, please. All right. Keep your secrets. It is a long three-day journey from uh, the uh, uh, near the base of the volcano all the way back home. And uh, as you return to uh, Azure Land, uh, you see that um, Azure Land is a massive city, but it is very quiet uh, when you enter. You don't see signs of an attack, but there's nobody in the streets. Do I know nope. if there's a holiday or some special day where everyone just like, doesn't come out. Um, your, uh, your culture has many holidays, all of which are celebrated outdoors with drink, with dance, and with song. There are no uh, indoor-only events that you are aware of. So this is obviously concerning. But he feels as if priority one is trying to find his wife and unborn child. Uh, the driver looks at you and says, I've never seen a town, uh, this town so quiet. Whatever you're looking for, friend, I hope you find it. I'm off to make my deliveries, but I hope there's someone there to pick it up. I'll just nod and say, thank you for the ride. So you can either go to um, uh, directly to the uh, royal castle and uh, check in uh, with Princess Azure, 
or you can go home, or you can meander about the town and investigate what's going on. Uh, I will go home first. Um, so as you approach your house, uh, which is relatively close to the castle, you see the door has been kicked off its hinges, and the, uh, the uh, dense redwood door uh, has been split in half, which is very difficult to do. going inside and I will ready the heretic brand. Um, as you enter the room, you can see that the uh, your home has been absolutely demolished. There are uh, uh, about fist-sized holes in the walls, there are arrows in the walls, there are bloody swords still stuck in the walls, and you can see about... Um, uh, uh, six or seven, uh, elven corpses on the ground. And as you, um, look at the corpses, you're almost instinctively trained to notice this thing, this, uh, this detail because of how many times you've seen it. You can see the distinct dark gray, uh, rims around the eyes and mouths where the white face paint, uh, wasn't applied properly. I get excessively pissed off when I see this, and I will, uh, are all the corpses that I see, uh, of the drow? You see about six, uh, or seven drow corpses, and they look like they have been bludgeoned to hell with, they, uh, they were, it looks like someone took a sledgehammer to them over and over again until they stopped moving. Uh, I will continue searching the house. Um, as you go to your bedroom, that's where the most amount of damage is. Uh, and you can see, um, despite all the chaos that happened in this room, all of the family photos and all of your valuable possessions are specifically intact. In fact, you can see uh, arrows going all the way around a photo and a broken arrow in front of it. Someone was actively protecting your possessions. Uh, do I find any clues to what might have happened to my wife? I would like you to make an investigation check. Uh, what did you roll? A six. Um, you're not able to notice any of the uh, subtler clues um, that may or may not be uh, scattered throughout your house, but there's one clue that you find that you absolutely cannot miss, and that's um, uh, as you open up the... Uh, um, as you're looking about the room, you find a, uh, a, a woman's severed leg uh, pinned to the wall um, er, uh, you see there is a severed leg that has punched all the way through a drow warrior's chest and into the wall and it is still hanging there you just see this dead drow with a hole in his chest dangling from the severed leg limp and dead and you see that the cut on the leg was clean this had to have been from a magical sword. Does this leg look like my wife? If that makes any sense. Um, the, um, it's kind of hard to tell because it's just a severed leg. Do you pull the leg out and look at the foot for um, any defining features or do you leave it be? Um, I will pull it out, yes. 
Um, as you pull out the, the leg, the body, the uh, dead body of the drow just sort of falls forward off of the leg. She punched, uh, or, you know, he was kicked all the way through the chest. And you do see a uh, distinct uh, homemade nail polish that's violet with glitter mixed in that your wife makes for herself because she likes the way it looks. Do I find anything else that would that could lead to where my wife either would have gone or if there was any other signs of a struggle? Uh, the only other thing that you're able to find that's obvious that you'd be able to find with only a six is you're able to see your wife's rapier has still punctured through a drow, pinning him about a foot and a half uh, off of the ground. I will gradually take the rapier out of him. All right, if you would like to, you can add an ordinary rapier to your inventory. In a special name, Jesus Christ. Um, as you're maneuvering about the uh, house and with your low investigation check, uh, you don't uh, notice until he's already behind you, that Pittance has been uh, in your home and he's wandering around with a somber expression and he just sort of calmly wanders into your periphery. Who? Uh, Pittance, the, um, uh, the uh, royal assistant that you met in session zero of the campaign. Oh, as I see him, I'll be like, no, what are you doing here? Well, the uh, princess sent me here to uh, clean up the place. She was hoping I could make it look a little bit more presentable by the time you got here. Less of a shock, you know? I'm sorry I wasn't able to um, clean things up. I know this home is important to you. What happened here? Well, uh, based on the reports from your uh, neighbors, um, there was a squad of a of a dozen men, a dozen elven men, who uh, kicked down your door and tried to kidnap your wife. Dozens of squads just like these kidnapped, God, countless family members, anyone connected to the royal guard, their family, their wives, girlfriends, children, the elderly, anyone who could be used as leverage was kidnapped in what we have decided to call the Night of Broken Glass. And as he points to a shatter, your shattered front window, he goes, and I'm sure you can see why. And what have you done to find this? I have done all I can. There's plenty of evidence, but a lot of it doesn't mean anything. We don't know, we don't recognize these fingertips. We don't recognize these weapons, these symbols. I can't make heads or tails of it. I'm a. I'm gonna uh, pick up one of the drow by the hair. When I'll lick my thumb and wipe off the makeup, and I'll say, "This is who has been doing it. Somehow they are back. Why are they back?" Uh, you see, uh, Pittens kind of uh, um, uh, carefully inspect the. Um, uh, the face, he's like, how did you have the idea to, to wipe the paint off their faces? None of us have even thought to do so. We have been dealing with this for far too many times. They have hurt many people. But now it's personal. So, I'm going to give you one last try. What are you doing to help? Well, what I'm trying to do is give the families what peace I can and try to piece together the puzzle of exactly what is going on. There are clear signs of a conspiracy, a well thought out conspiracy, but I don't know what any of it means. All I've done is observe at this point. 
Walden, start from the beginning. Well, it started uh, uh, a few moons after you left. They came in the night. They uh, they kicked in uh, the doors. They kidnapped people and drove them away. Uh, a dozen men per one person they were trying to kidnap. It was overwhelming. By the, to the time the town guards were out of their barracks and in the streets, they were already gone. And I do have to say, the only house with any of these uh, dead uh, uh, enemies is yours. Your wife is a fighter. My wife knew how to protect herself. She is no idiot or weakling. Well, we've, uh... By the way, we've uh, received your letter about the, uh, the progress you've made. It sounds like, uh, you've been making a princess proud. I wish as a, service of, a servant of the princess I could have made you just as proud with my work here, but I have entirely failed. Where is everyone? The town is empty. It is never empty. Everyone is in mourning. I mean, dozens of family members were kidnapped. You wouldn't happen to know where they were sent to, would you? Why do you think I came back? I need clues. I need to know. Well, you're, uh... You're one of the royal guard. You have free reign to investigate as you choose. I, I'm here if you need me. I'll just nod my head and I'll start searching the bodies to see if they don't have anything on them that could lead them to where they would have gone. All right, I'd like you to make an investigation check with advantage as you carefully take the time to go through not just your only house, but uh, the houses of the people who have also been attacked. Dirty 20. Uh, one thing that you are able to discern uh, for certain is that this is definitely the work of the drow because you can see... Um, uh, collected by evidence by the local guards are a whole bunch of symbols of loth everywhere. Um, but on top of that, you also find evidence of metamagic, things that could be only accomplished by a sorcerer. So you know uh, that uh, despite running into a sorcerer not that long ago, many, many, many days uh, from here, there's ev evidence of sorceress activity here as well. Another thing that you notice is that um, uh, it there are no tracks leading in, but as soon uh, as the plan was struck, there are many, many tracks, wagon tracks, leading outwards. You can see footprints and, and wagon tracks only leading out. I will go and report my findings to the princess. Um, as you uh, return to the uh, the princess, you see, you see that she is also um, in mourning. It appears that um, based on the look of her face, it seems she's lost something as well. Uh, as I walk in, I'll do the usual, I'll, I'll, I'll say sorry for the intrusion, I'll say, Princess, I have found some leads, and I'll tell her what I found. They came so fast. They came from everywhere. It's like they formed out of the shadows themselves. They took everybody and vanished into the distance. 
I, I don't know how I didn't see this coming. I have failed my people. Princess, this is not your fault. This is the work of the drow. They've been living under our noses for Fortismos knows how long, and none of us noticed. Do you know how they can be back? I thought they were all dead. I, myself, and my family, we have been around for many, many years. And I was there when we wiped out the last known location of a drow. I mean, there is no place they could have hidden. I mean, so many dead bodies. You can check the graves, they are still there. Were, were any of them a very powerful sorcerer or something to that effect? Well, there were many magic users in the great extermination of the drow. Uh, sorcerers, wizards, bards, I mean, surprisingly diverse. They, uh, but when we made the call to eliminate them, they were gone. But yes, there were many sorcerers. I will look at her and I'll say, is it possible that they went to another world or plane? Ah. I mean, there's no way to travel the plains, at least as far as I'm aware, and there's no way off this island, not with the Kraken Moth gu uh, guarding the uh, only existing entrance and exit. I don't know how they all managed to hide from us for so long. Can you repeat that? Sorry. Uh, she said, I don't know how they managed to hide from us for so long. No one was looking for them. We all thought they were dead. Well, my, um... What's terrifying to me is that whoever, uh, kidnapped my most loyal servant... Uh, the one that, uh, I don't know why I'm admitting this to you, but I was starting to fall for the man. And no one knew but me and him. Yet whoever came here knew to take him. And he was taken from within without getting, they got past our guards, they got past everyone. And they only fought on the way out. So either they managed to sneak their way in, or they were here the whole time. I don't feel safe. I haven't slept in days. Princess, I may have encountered something like this before. You know the spell and potion polymorph, correct? I've heard of it, but it's uh, rather rare. There's only a handful of merchants who, who sell it, and even then they only have a handful of bottles. What if they were prepared for us to leave? For us to leave our families and friends and you vulnerable. And so they were able to gather information on us before we left. And then they did this after we left because they knew no one would be able to stop them. Those devious bastards! Of course! They must have known. There's no way they could have done this without insider knowledge. I have half a mind to round up, round up all of my, my guards and slay them! Rounding up would be best. Slaying? No. I trust you. I trust you and the rest of my royal guard more than anyone in the world, but I don't even know if you're real! And she starts to like rip out her hair 
and she starts to devolve into a manic state. I will walk up to her, put a hand on her very gently, and I'll say, Princess, if I wasn't real, then I would have either killed you, or you wouldn't feel my hand upon you. I just don't know anymore. Um, as you're attempting to comfort the princess, uh, Pittance walks in, and he goes, I think we should round up everyone in the High Council and everyone in the Guard, and uh, see if we can fi find a traitor in our midst. Do that. Also bring the most loyal wizard, powerful magic user as you can. We may need. The most powerful magic users in the kingdom are mile, uh, dozens of miles away on an adventure. Is there any other magic users in the kingdom? Myself and a handful of the High Council have taken, have devoted years of study just to get, learn a handful of spells, but I'll round everyone relevant up. We, we will need someone who can, uh, can cast Dispel Magic. The only useful spell I know at the moment is Zone of Truth. That will also do. Alright, it takes about an hour to do so, uh, but you have roughly three groups of people. You have the High Council, a sort of Congress of lawmakers and decision makers. Uh, you have a group of the local town guard. And then the third group is the servants. Uh, I will start with the servants. All right. Um, uh, the servants are made entirely out of either women or eunuchs who have been castrated so they can be trusted around the women. Um, and there's a... Um, uh, Many of them were uh, were killed in the uh, conflict. Many just by stray arrows and being in the wrong place at the wrong time. There are currently only six. Three women and three eunuchs. Alright, uh, I will start by having the guy... Uh, I'll start by saying, do not worry. If you are who you say you are, then nothing will happen. And I will have Pippin cast his own of truth on. All right. Um, uh, the uh, first eunuch uh, walks up. He's a uh, uh, a heavy set elven man in like beige robes, a shaved bald head, and he walks forward and steps into the zone of truth with his arms behind his back. What is your name? My name is Lin. Who is the true goddess? Botismos. What is your race? I'm a drow, and a true drow at that. And you see him uh, smear his finger across his face? Were you a plant in the operation? I've been privy to many secret operations. I'm afraid you'll have to be more specific. I hear a lot of things when you're, uh, in my position. Knight of Broken Glass. I wasn't... Have a hand in that. I had no idea that it was going to happen or the date that something was going to happen. I'll just nod and I'll have guard escort him to a separate place from everyone else all right as you um go through most of the uh the servants um they all kind of give you the uh the the same responses as you ask similar questions um the uh, last servant in the uh, in the group to step into the uh circle is a uh a uh 
a very tall, very thin um, elven woman um, who goes by Rin. And uh, she has an uncomfortably tiny mouth and uncomfortably large eyes. And she just stares unblinkingly at you. Uh, and since she's already given us her name, I will say, I'll ask her, who is the true goddess? What is most... And I will say, what is your race? I'm just a humble elf, sir. More specific. I'm a wood elf. Do you have any hand in the operation? The night of the broken glass. My hands are clean, sir. She is in the zone of truth, correct? Correct. And she said her hands are clean. Did you happen to tell anyone secrets that were not supposed to be shared with others? In my position, you hear many whispers, but you can never really discern the hearsay from the, uh, from the concrete. Did you tell anyone these people? You don't get to live as long as I have without learning how to mind your own business, sir. I roll an insight on her. Absolutely. A dirty 20. Uh, she looks like she is choosing her words extremely carefully. You also see that she keeps checking at the zone of truth, and it almost looks like she's checking to see where the border is, and she keeps putting her foot out of the border just kind of to see what happens. Okay. So how long have you worked for the and I'm going to see when she moves her foot. Um, uh, she moves her foot out of the circle, and she goes, A hundred years, sir. And then she puts it back in? Yes. What was your name? And I look at the foot again. Uh, you see, she moves her foot out of the uh, ring, and she said, I already told you, sir. My name is Rin. I'll nod my head, and I'll say, Now, uh, could you stand a bit more center? Uh, she looks down, and she can... She's not blind. She can clearly see that she's, like, halfway to the to the right, and she goes... I'm about as center as center gets her. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, then, without moving any other body part, what is your name? Oh, I think you already know my name, sir. Just tell me your name. Well... At the moment, they call me Rin. And when it's not in this moment? You can call me whatever you like. Have you ever heard of the polymorph? I've heard of it. It's a powerful one. Do you know anyone that can use it? Well, I bet you could use it if you learned. You just need to get a little bit stronger. 
Do you know anyone currently vaccinated? Well, from what I understand, uh, there aren't many. There isn't anyone I left alive who can uh, cast it naturally. That's why we all need potions. Many, many potions, sir. Eh? What race are you? I'm an elf, sir. More specific. I come from the woods, sir. More specific. I think you know where I come from, sir. Tell me, have you gotten stronger since you left? Tell me, you're a drow, aren't you? You see, uh, Rin just sort of, uh, smile and go, I'm whatever I choose to be. And then you see Rin's face start to melt. And it slowly melts into yours. And this figure before you becomes a bugbear that looks exactly like you. Do I know about changelings? Um, hmm. They're definitely not popular. Roll me a history check to see if you've heard of the legends. A 12? You have heard many years ago there was a, uh, a people whose name you just can't put a finger on. They, uh, um that were rumored to be able to uh, change their form without use of a spell, but uh, it was never proven. But these rumors of people who could change their face always seem to happen um, at times of high political tension and very often near the murders of royals. But that's as far as your memory goes. All right. I, I will, uh, with that sort of thing in my mind, I'll be like, you're not an elf, are you? You're not even a drow. Am I correct? I don't want to know what you're talking about. I'm a bugbear at the moment. Can't you see? I mean, when, you, when you're not a bugbear or any of the other races that are very popular here, you are a, what's the name? I think it starts with a C, um. Um, you see this figure sit down, cross their legs, and uh, pull out a small cylinder that they have their thumb on. And uh, the figure goes, the word you're looking for is changeling, sir. And uh, you see this uh, bugbear transform into this small, thin, gray-skinned creature with no facial features and wide circular eyes. Impossibly large eyes. I'll just nod my head and I'll say, now, no more dancing around. Did you have a hand in the night of broken glass? A hands? No, my hands are clean. And she, uh, she shows her hands, and they are, in fact, spotless. Manicured, even. Did you have a role in the Night of Broken Glass? I'd say you played a bigger role in it than I did, sir. We couldn't have done it without you. Leaving, that is. So you're working with the drought, or the drought are working with you. I don't have any alliances other than coin. Other than who? Coin, sir. You ever heard of it? Shiny little discs? Oh, no, no, I was asking you, not her. Not her. Oh, okay. Because I couldn't quite. 
So, hypothetically, the drow knew you, knew you were a changeling. Again, hypothetically, of course. And let's say they paid you a good amount of coin to infiltrate the Royal Council, or at least be a member in the be a member here. And let's say you start hearing words here and there about family members, loved ones. And you tell the drive. And hypothetically, the night that all this happened, you just so happen to not be at your normal uh, doing the quotes when I say normal. Um, the change then goes, I never did that. And then, uh, she transforms into a bugbear. I never did that. And then she transforms into a servant and I have nothing to say on the matter. Tell me, uh, dear royal godsman, do you know where spirits go when they die? They go to Kismas, of course. Would, Would they, they go, go anywhere else? Well, they all certainly try to, I imagine. Are you familiar with the term haunting, royal godsman? There's rumors every now and then. So you've heard the rumors of souls bound to locations, never to escape, never to return to the warm light of Fotismos's embrace. I'm sure you've heard the legends. What are you getting at? I think that you already know what I'm getting at. Do you? honestly believe that your um sh should i call him a friend i think we should it's more fun that way i think your friend would never let the people you royal guardsmen care about return to the warm embrace of their lord and which friend would this be there are certain things i'm kept in the dark about friend I don't know where those souls might be. I don't know what haunted locations this, this decrepit little island has. But I would keep an eye out for haunted houses, sir. But who is this friend that I have that I should keep a watch out? I'm not entirely sure. He changes his form almost as much as I do. Is he one of the Royal Guardsmen? He can be if he wants to be. I'll just nod my head and I'll say... I think the, uh... I think there's someone in the, uh, torture chamber that I'd like to have work. You think so? <laughs> well, there's only one person in the chambers at the moment, and they're not going to be doing any talking for a, quite some time. Oh, well, I think that person's about to get a friend. Now I'll motion towards the guard. Your, uh, the uh, lesser guardsmen uh, kind of walk over to you, and one of them whispers, Sir, what the hell is going on? Why are you so calm? What is this creature? They are known as changelings. They can change their form at will. And this one just happens to be working with our new enemy. The way she talks of our island, like there's any other place to be. Disgraceful. Very. 
and I will then like whisper in his ear, take her to the torture chamber. But first, put her in some type of manacles, just in case she tries to change her shape. Um, uh, they have um, three options. They have relatively standard um, handcuffs. They have uh, wrought iron manacles, which go from wrist to elbow. They're very, very thick, uh, but they don't adjust. And then there's also just good old-fashioned rope and lots of it. Uh, let's go with option B. The, the, the wrist to elbow manacles that lock that whole fucking arm in place? The, uh, the changeling, uh, who is currently going by Rin, seems perfectly content offering up her arms to the manacles, and she even winks at you as they carry her away. And I'll say, if she manages to get it off, it will be your head next. I would like you to make a, well, uh... I'd like you to make a perception check as they carry her out of view. Uh, 14. Uh, no, that's you. No, that's me. 14. Um, all you're able to see out of the corner of the eye is uh, suddenly the uh, very calm prisoner starts to struggle. The other guards whack the prisoner uh, over the head with their batons and carry them into the um, uh, uh, into the dungeon. Alright. Uh, then you said the next couple groups were the town and the castle guard? Um, yes, there is the council and the castle guard. Uh, I will go to council next. You recognize all of the faces in the council immediately. You've seen these people many times. These people have written the laws that you have to enforce. And um, uh, in fact, you know them so well that you've even given them a couple of suggestions um, when it comes to your duties. So you have advantage on all insight checks with these people because you talk to them on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes. Yeah. Um. I will go with the standard question uh, of race, name, how long have you been working here, who's the true goddess? All right. As you go through um, all, all 20 of them as a group, I'd like you to make an insight check with advantage to notice any deviations from their normal speech patterns and behaviors. A dirty 20. Um... Everyone in the zone of truth says exactly what you expect them to say, exactly how you expect them to say it, with the exception of one who ever so subtly hesitates before every word and is trembling slightly. This councilman is the youngest on the group, and he is always the most bombastic and outgoing person. But despite being in the zone of truth and being asked point blank, is he a changeling? Are you know? Were you part of it? He answer, answers in the zone of truth that he is not, and that he is who he says he is. Uh, as I get to him, I'll kind of deviate from the normal questioning. I'll be like, "So where were you on the night of Broken Black?" I was in my office. And what were you doing? I was staring at the wall. And why were you staring at the wall? I felt compelled to. Can you elaborate on that? Well, that's the thing, sir. My uh, memories of the night are hazy. I don't even remember hearing the glass breaking. Can you give me the full story? 
of how that day and night went? Well, on the, the night of broken glass, as dawn set, I went uh, to my bedroom to um, uh, sit in my recliner with a book, and then I felt compelled to go to my uh, front door and just or go to the front of my house and just stare at a blank wall for 10 hours straight. And then I just sort of snapped out of it, and I was rather tired, horrendously tired even, and I went to bed. Was there anyone else in the house with you at the time? Not that I could see, sir. I'd like you to make a perception check as he talks. You can see what looks to be blood underneath his fingernails. As I noticed this, I'll say, was, did you happen to struggle with anyone that night? Did he happen to what? Or that day? Uh, struggle. No, sir. I was awfully sore. I felt like I'd been knocked about for hours, but... No, sir. I, there was no struggle that day. No. Just kind of point to his fingernails and I'll be like, and why is there blood under your fingernails? But, sir, I don't have blood under my fingernails. You make it sound like I scratched myself bloody, sir. Well, just humor me real quick and look at your fingernails. He looks at the uh, undersides of his fingernails perplexed, and he goes, I've never. You know me, sir. I'm the cleanest man around. God, someone get me a tissue. This is disgraceful. Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice this earlier. And he hasn't been moving his foot in now, correct? Um, he has not moved his foot an inch. He has been solidly in the dead center of that circle. What were you doing in the week leading up to the night of Broken Glass? A lot less than I usually do, sir. I'm usually overwhelmed by the, th by the projects I take on, but I felt so unmotivated the entire week. I've spent hours home doing nothing. Almost as if you could say under a spell? I didn't feel like I was under a spell. I heard no magic words. I saw no flashing lights. I just felt dull. Well, some spells can make it seem like that. And some spells aren't all flashy. I have one of the most secure houses in the entire town, the entire city. It's almost as secure as the, pr the princess's quarters herself. No one could have gotten in. So you're telling me that the only way people would have gotten in is if you left it? Of course. There is a double door made of steel with two locks on them each. Do you have any idea how many keys I carry around on a day-to-day -day basis just to keep myself secure? There's no way. So only you are able to get into your house. Of course, I have it warded from every spell known to man. Every spell known to us, correct? Everyone that I've ever heard of. And you are 100% sure there was no one else in your house that night. I perceived no one in my house, as is normal. I enjoy my solitude, and I enjoy my work 
and I enjoyed the people. What about your guards? Ask any of them. I love to chat with them. Every every day if I can, I, I introduce myself to everyone I walk past. I'm on the council. It is my duty to ingratiate myself to the public. Did any, have any of them seen off? Sir, they're the public. They always seem off. <laughs> no dis disrespect to them, but they're a bizarre bunch. I'm talking about your personal guard. I, I guess I don't know. The more I think about it, the more my head hurts. And you know, sir, I have had just a horrendous aching pain in my back. You remember, you, you know some of the uh, mystical arts, don't you? This this questioning has me drained. Could you lend a uh, a very tired politician a little bit of healing? Um. Ooh. Hold the phone. Uh, future. Uh, uh, yes, I will. And I will go up to him, and I don't know what's restoration, which is a bad thing. And I will give him uh, five health to my lay on him. I'd like you to make either a perception check or an arcana check as you give him four HP. Check it out. Nothing at all seems weird about the way he was healed. The only thing you're able to see passively is that despite giving him some HP, he still seems exhausted. Uh, you said that you were having back problems, correct? Horrible back problems, all week. Uh, would you mind if I uh, checked your back out? Just to make sure that there isn't like any horrible thing. Of course, anything to get treatment from one of the finest medics around. He uh, turns around and he lifts up the back of his shirt, and you do not need a perception check to see the spider embedded three inches into its flesh with just its eight eyes and a bit of its abdomen poking out. You can see its legs embedded into his flesh, causing like rib like protrusions as they push the skin up. Uh, so obviously, I need to remove it. This thing looks deep in there, like all the way down to the, sp the spine. It does not look like it would be easy to remove it. Uh, I will have one of the guards hand me a dagger. Easily done. And you said that there was some of it sticking out of his back? Uh, the head, uh, the the thorax, and part of the abdomen are sticking out. A good two-thirds of the abdomen are embedded, as well as all eight legs, and the teeth are all embedded under the skin. And you can see the skin is starting to grow over the spider, trying to heal over it. All right. Then I will... Uh, very carefully uh, poke the dagger into the spider's head and I would like to use uh, my divine smite to burn it up. Alright, you don't have to roll for attack because it cannot move, but I do want you to make a medicine check to kill the spider, not the person. All right, with your, um, you know, being in the healing field as long as you have, you're relatively good at, you know, these sorts of procedures, and you're able to just burn this spider, 
and you can hear it screech, this high-pitched wailing that echoes throughout the castle. Everyone puts their hands over their ears as they listen to it scream. And like a tick running from a match, uh, the spider moves itself out of the skin and tries to escape. It falls to the ground. Do you attempt to, do you let it run away? Do you chase after it or do you try to attack it? Um. side to side, diving from cover to cover, trying to hide. I'd like you to make a perception check as you try to keep an eye as it is. It darts about the room. Alright. Oh, God. You follow it uh, to the base of the stairs, up until which point it dives into a hole in the wall and uh, disappears, and you do not hear it. Uh, how many guards came with us? Four. I'll have one guard stay up here, and I will uh, start running. Uh, I'll ask if one of the guards happens to know where that hole leads to. You'll ask one guard if what? If they just will happen to know where that hole leads Well, on the other side of that room is the uh, the torture chamber, where we have one prisoner, well, two now, I suppose, being held. Uh, I will just nod my head and I will head into the room with the guard. Um, as you uh, um, uh, head into the, uh, the uh, room, uh, you can see there are uh, two prisoners. There is a, um, a, a moth folk with the lower jaw cut off and it is chained to the ground. And the uh, other prisoner, also chained to the ground, um, is uh, the uh, servant Rin from earlier, the changeling. Uh, and you can see that Rin's demeanor has entirely changed. The guards are beating the living hell out of Rin, and she is screaming and crying incoherently. And every time she tries to speak, the guards kick her in the face again, as if trying to break her jaw. Uh, can I see the spider? Uh, you can hear it from the, uh, the other room, and as you walk in, you can see this happening. So I don't see the spider. Pardon? So I don't see the spider? Uh, you do not see the spider, no. But I can hear it. You saw the spider dive into a hole. You do not currently hear it. Uh, I will inform these guards about what is happening and keep an eye out for the spider. Uh, you see one of the uh, the guards that was kicking Rin in the face goes, uh, he kind of leans in close and whispers, Sir, I think I may have learned something important. Can I see you in the other chamber? Yes, and I'll, and I'll say, everyone else, keep watch for the spider. Um, and I'll like, uh, explain to them what it looks like. Ah, uh, yes, a spider, of course, sir. Um, I'd like you to, uh, as he walks in, uh, you notice that this is one of the cells that doesn't have windows. And you can see the guard just casually lock the door behind him. And you can see his face start to melt. Ah, fuck. 
and I'll just nod my head and I'll say, so it looks like we had more than one. Oh, there's only one of me, baby. And you can hear crying out from the other room in Rin's voice, you have the wrong person! <laughs> I'll say, so it looks like you won't just leave quietly. Um, you see uh, uh, Rin changing her, her form to her natural gray, fo gray form, pull out a cylinder, which she has her thumb on. She goes, you know, I feel like I've been paid a lot, but I haven't been paid as much as I could. So as much as I have appreciated the payments, I'm going to give you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to pay me more. Oh? And how much more would you want? I want enough to build a ship, get the hell off this island, and go home. And as she says this, I'm just going to give a small laugh. I'm just like, there's nothing else out there. I right, mean, if there was, you'd Built by the Kraken moth before you'd able be able to get too far away. Well, the thing is the thing of nightmares, but it only has so many tentacles. My ship, my crew, my fellow pirates, gone. I was the only survivor. I don't just need one ship. I need a fleet. A fleet of distractions. I can make it out if there are at least three other ships taking the brunt of the damage. I can get home. I don't even need a crew in the ships. I just need them to go in his general vicinity, wait for him to attack, and bye-bye, birdie. I am out of here. I hate this island. Where would you go? There's nothing else out there. Nothing else out there? This is the smallest thing out there there is. This island is tiny. The tiniest of them all. Can I roll insight? Absolutely. Because obviously Gozar doesn't do it. Absolutely. Uh, 15. You, uh, even though a changeling lacks facial features, the intensity is real. It is 100% authentic desperation. And I'll say, well, I'm sorry, but you are part of the cause for so many people suffering. And unless if you can provide me with some very crucial information, the only way you'll be leaving here is dead. <sighs> Crucial information? <laughs> you must not have been paying attention. How about... How do I want to phrase this even? I know that death isn't permanent. And I know that many... People, people, some of which you probably care about, have been kidnapped and probably killed, either by your doing or just for the malicious enjoyment of my my employer. Come on, there's got to be someone Who dead that you your... want brought back. Who is your employer? I don't know. He goes by a different name every time, a different face every time. Sometimes he's an old beggar man. Sometimes he's the princess herself. What is the one thing that they always have in common? <laughs> in common? The only thing in common this man has is he's always using sorcery spells. I'll just nod my head and I'll... I'll go. How about this? I might let you go free. If you can give me some information. Alright. The connection between life and death isn't good enough for you? Fine. How about I know how to talk 
to your little itsy bitsy demigod you all seem to worship so much. How about we just start with where are they? Where were they taken? I don't know. It was a need to know basis and I didn't need to know. All I needed to know was how to do my job. And she makes a throat slashing motion and I am very good at my job. So you're saying that there's nothing you can provide me? I guess not. I'll then just nod my head and I'll pull out the heretic's brains. And I'll be like, well, it looks like a few from us will have another one coming. And I will yell out heretic. She's like, well, it's a, sh a shame it had to come to this, but I'm sorry, I'm not planning on sticking around. She ah. takes her thumb off of the um, of the the cylinder and shakes out a scroll and starts uh enchant it, uh reading the enchantment to uh, um you have a reaction to try to do something. Uh, I want to, uh, I want to hit the paper. You can certainly aim for it. It's a minus two circumstance penalty. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, that's a four. Oh, that is literally one short. I, I literally cannot accept my tears flow. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, you see the uh, that Rin dives out of the way with her paper. She starts to disappear uh, as she fades through a dimension door. And just before the dimension door closes, she says, Tell the elves that Coralon misses them, and then slams the door. Uh, Gozar wants to break something. Is there something in this room Gozar can break? Um, there is a um a a, a dead dire rat in the uh, the corner that looks like it recently died of some horrible disease. Uh, Gozar will pull out his maul and just demolish it. Um, as you start demolishing it. Uh, you don't have to roll for hit, but you do have to roll for damage. Oh, okay. Ah, wait. Hold on. Because I have the great weapon master feat. I can re... You know, my bad. I think it's my... Fighting style. I can re-roll any one or two on weapon damage. So that is 13. You hear a woman's voice scream in agony, the crunching of bones, and a red blood seep out from within the rat. What? Would you, you like to? Would you like to take inside the dead dire rat? Oh, uh, uh, I'll do that. Um, as you look inside, uh, as you examine the dire rat, you see that its gut has been uh, cut open and sewn shut, and as you cut the threads, uh, with your weapon and open it up. You can see that this dire rat was gutted and inside it's the servant, Rin, the real one, bound and gagged. Uh, and also dead. Wait, wasn't, she in the other, wasn't she in the other room? 
Hmm? But wasn't she in the other room? No, this is the servant room. The one that uh, the changeling was impersonating. You never saw the other servant. The real one. But you said that there was two people in there. A moth folk with their with their bottom jaw cut off, and then Ren. And then we came in here, and she dimen and the changeling dimension door out. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Uh, confused yeah. as you uh, walk back out, um, uh, you can still see the. Uh, um, a woman that looks exactly like Rin, uh, on the ground, uh, quivering, shaking, and bloodied. Can I do an arcana check? See if she is under the polymorph spell? You absolutely can. You have no Whoa. idea. The, uh, the vi this form of Rin looks at you and go, Sir, you know me! Let me free! Even though I rolled poorly on Arcana, could I still do an insight check? Yes. Okay. Well, I think Apra just wants her dead. Sir, it's me, I swear. I'm one of the guardsmen. That crafty bitch swapped places with me. You have to believe me. Sir, please. And why should I believe you? I, uh, ask me anything, sir. I've known you my whole life. Uh, I obviously was told how long it took the guards to get to get out of the uh, out of the uh, out of the barracks on the night of broken glass, correct? You were told what now? Uh, I was told about how long it took for the guards to get out of the barracks on the night of broken glass, correct? Uh, yeah, it took um. About uh, 15 or 20 minutes for them all to assemble, which is longer than normal, but not completely unrealistic because they were all sleeping. Um, and by that time, everyone had that was to be kidnapped was already gone. All right. I'll just look at him. We'll look at him, quote unquote. And I'll say, how long did it take you to get out of the spirit? Must have been 15, 20 minutes. To be honest, when they were first calling for us, I thought it was part of a dream. Ah, oh, it took forever. And I was so weary, I couldn't find my equipment. By the time I was out in the streets, they were already gone. I don't believe them. I mean, the expressions on his face are... are uh, it, since his face and form looks completely like someone else, it's really hard to get a good read on him because it's somebody else's face, not the one you uh, you would uh, expect to recognize. So it's so hard to read. But what the facts that he is stating do appear to ring true as far as you can logically deduce. Do I know how long it takes for a polymorph to wear off? Um, uh, one to eight hours, depending on the strength of the potion or how many you take. All right. And I'll just say, and if you are who you truly say you are, you won't mind spending one to eight hours down here without torture. Don't worry. Could I at least be given the courtesy of a bed, sir? I think, uh... Uh, this other one has uh, died from lack of proper sleep, and he sort of nudges his head at the moth folk that has fallen entirely still. I'll just 
walk out of the room at that point. Because, like, Gozart really doesn't believe this guy, but he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to be a complete dick. Do you bring him a dirty uh, mattress he... from the storage closet, or do you let him sleep on the floor? I'll bring him a mattress. Thank you, sucker. I'll prove to you that we're good friends. When all this blows over, we'll go and grab a drink together. Promise me. I'll just leave after that. Uh, do I happen to see the spider? Uh, make another perception check. Or... or... Make a perception check or a survival check if you're looking for its tracks. Perception will be a whole lot better. Okay. I swear I haven't rigged average. You can't. I own this server. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, but no, you do not uh, see any evidence uh, of the my, spider. My batteries, my, my batteries and my headphones are dying. I'll be back in a hot moment. All right. All right, I'm good. Oh my god, you sound so much different. Well, that's because I have no headphones, and so, of course, it will. Fair enough. All right. Um, so you leave. You've accumulated a few pieces of relevant information. There is, at the very least, confirmed one changeling, uh, which you have never seen before. They are only exist in, like, legend and lore, who wants to get the hell off this island and is willing to work for money and give information for money. You have learned that it is possible to bypass the Kraken Moth with enough ships if you just overwhelm it. And you have also learned that this conspiracy is deep within the ranks um, of, the, uh, of, the, of the royal family and their servants. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, I will go back into the throne room and I would like to have the princess step into the zone of truth. Alright. The princess seems almost offended that you would accuse her, but she kind of looks around, gauges the situation, and she steps into the uh, the zone. And she sort of... Um, uh, she sits down, sits cross-legged, um, and tries to look as... Uh, or No, she sits like a Japanese style, like on her knees looks as proper as possible and just sort of looks at you with this kind of smug, confident expression that you really only find in royalty and assholes. Uh, then I'll just, like, go through the basic questions that I've been asking everyone. Um, there is, uh, she answers every question just like the others, but with just, like, you know, 15% more condescension. All right, then I'll thank her and I'll also apologize. And then I myself will step into the zone of truth and undergo questioning. Uh, the princess, um, who looks slightly bitter about being questioned, she goes, So, Gozar, you seem to be taking the helm, and you seem to know a lot more about what's going on than any of us do. How do we know we can trust you? That is why I'm in the circle now, and I shall answer the questions as I need to. So, you have been tasked with uh, moving with haste to the Queen Mori to return the prisoner of war, Tiger. Have you been doing so without delay? We've had a couple delays here and there, yes, but other than that, we have been working our best. We... How, how far away are we out now, Zeno? Uh, you're a good two-thirds of the way through. You're, uh, one or, you're a couple more towns to the Queen Maurice. Okay. 
We are just about to arrive at our destination. And by the time we do, then hopefully all of what did happen during the war will go away. It seems awfully convenient that you and your friends just bailed days before we were all attacked when we needed you the most. And, you know, as... How do we know that you haven't been planning this? Princess, I can promise you, I have not been planning anything. And isn't it also really convenient that it was our family and our friends that were captured? I suppose it would be a pretty deep con for you to abduct your own wife. One last question, if you really are who you say you are, what are the names of your comrades? That is actually a good question. Um, Gisrael, Gorund, myself of course, Ivy, uh, we haven't met uh, Lieutenant Juvia, correct? Uh, you have not. Uh, you have not. Okay, so I don't have to add her in, I'm guessing? Yes. Correct, you do not. Okay. Madeline, Maddie, Thyri, Thyri, or is that also a new person? I don't know. Uh, Vashtar and Zalatar. I have two more questions for you. Who is the one true god? Alright. Photismos. And my last question what would you do if we were wrong? If we were what? If we were wrong about all of this. What do you mean? I've, over, I've been listening in on the things you've been saying. And I could have sworn I overheard someone say there were other gods. Well, if we were wrong, then... We were wrong. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen to us? An angry mob? I mean, we've always known that there has been a single goddess. That is what we have known, so that is what we have shared. So, to have someone say that there is other gods, well, that is different for us. And if it just so happens to be that there is different gods, other than Photismos, then it is up to the people to decide what happens. Gozar, I've known you a very long time. There was no one as calm and rational as you, and I don't think anyone trying to impersonate you could pin that down the w so accurately. I believe you. I'll just nod and I'll say, thank you, princess. Um, Pittens walks up to you and he says, I'm very grateful for the investigating you've done. Obviously, we have a lot of work to do on our end. But we really must get that uh, uh, tiger over to Queen Mori because the longer we spend here, the more likely it is for tiger to get injured or killed on the adventure. Yes, I think it would be best to get back, but I want people searching for my family and the family of the others. Of course, sir. I do have one more question before you set back out on your path. I overheard your conversation with the, um, uh, what I can only assume to be the, uh, Oh, what did you call them? A changeling? She mentioned that not all spirits get brought to the arms of Photismos. I mean, if that's not where they go, then where do you think we'll go when we die? Is there anywhere else we could go? I do not know. I honestly don't trust much of what the changeling was saying. 
If the changeling was telling the truth, the soul of your dead wife and unborn child could have been captured. Uh, as goes up, as uh, he says that, he just like gets like this pained look on his face, as if what he just said was still extremely touchy subject. I'm sorry, sir. I meant no offense. No, no, no. It's mm, with time, it'll hopefully heal. As uh, Pittance um, just sort of calmly nods and uh, excuses himself, it is a uh, long walk back to the uh, the uh, carriage. And as you're walking, you see a diamond moth seems to be fluttering over your head. Uh, I reach out a finger towards it. It lands on your finger and looks directly at you intensely the way a unintelligent creature could not possibly do, it is looking directly into your eyes. I look back at it. It almost looks like the creature has something to say. I'll just say to it, what do you have to say, small one? You, uh, you can hear it uh, uh, flutter its wings almost like Morse code, but you do not speak Morse code. And I'll just give it a look of confusion. I'll be like, I'm sorry, what? The diamond moth appears to um, uh, get frustrated and uh, flutter away in the direction of the wagon. You see the tomato vendor is uh, packing up, he's uh, gotten his payment, and he's heading back home. I follow the moth. Um, you see the uh, moth sort of flutter towards the wagon and just sort of vanish into like a, uh, like almost as if flying between worlds. I, I get confused about what just happened. Um, is there some check I can make for that? Uh, you can make a religion check or an arcana check. I will do religion. Does not appear that in interaction appears to have no significance to you whatsoever. All the checks that I actually need are just absolute crap today. Um, I will keep that in mind and to think about it later and hopefully give me a bit more inside about what happened and I will start heading on my way back. All right. So friend, is there anything you want to do before we head out? I'll just sign. I'll be like, no, I don't think there is. All right. And that will be the end of our session. Cries and bugbear. <laughs> Cries and bugbear indeed.